Howdy ducks. Howdy, howdy, howdy. It's Thursday. It's time for beavers. It's unchowder. It's Jezebel. It's it's stuff. It's 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 games. It's video games. Video games. Why not? It's and chilling. Are you okay? She's been she's been all up in my stuff today. That's fine. We're just gonna have a cat. Gonna have a cat. What do you have to say for yourself? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. And you're just gonna press buttons. You're just pressing all my buttons. What would you do? I th okay. Yeah, I think we're still good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we're playing beavers. Um, yeah. Uh, today is gonna be episode three total, but like episode two on this on this village, right? I started a new one with the last stream. Um, so we're gonna start getting into stuff that's like totally new to me. Um, I want to start doing like we've got metal going. We're gonna start doing like the gravity batteries. I want to flood a thing. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 do all that. Um, and you're just gonna be down here, I guess. Might I might also have gotten a little ambitious with my little cardigan thing. It might be a little bit warm for this. Oh well. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by Waterfalls. The thing that we're going to make, they occur naturally, but also we're going to make more, probably. Um, but also by you clicking those buttons down there, um, liking, subscribing, following, hanging out, joining the discord, all that stuff. That's all I care about. I just want more buttons. The world needs more buttons, right? Clearly, if there's anything wrong with alert with our world right now, it's that there aren't enough buttons. So, so click them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. OK. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I have it loaded up. We'll see if OBS behaves today. Come on. Okay. And it's moving and stuff. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna unpause mostly. Um, I'm trying, gonna try to remember what we were working on. Yeah, hi. Um, mostly I remember we had just gotten metal going, right? Uh, if I zoom in here, and all the buttons are all different. Going back and forth between this and Dyson Sphere is going to be a little mind breaking. I wonder, if, maybe I'll change some uh, some <laughs> some key bindings to make them more the same. Um, but look, we have we have a smelter. We're making books. We're making paper. Right? We got. I don't have books yet, but there. Yeah, look, there's books in here. In theory, that's uh, that's making some people happier, and we're making we're harvesting our our scrap. We're making metal blocks. Um, our, our friend here is doing his best. Um, how are we on power? I think power is going to be a thing that we definitely focus on today uh, for you know increasing increasing efficiency and stuff. And now it's now it's nighttime again, so they're gonna jeez. The days go real fast when you're on when you're on fast mode, don't they? Um, we have, we have a injured beaver, but we have, we have hospital beds, so that's fine. Medical beds. Um, we have, we have water? Are we, are we getting enough water? Is it going up? I guess it's going up. It's hovering, isn't it? Um, okay. Let's, let's go a little slower. Um, food we're clearly fine on. Logs I think we're fine on. Um, I did put in a tr a, tr a tapper's shack, right? I don't know if. In theory, I mean it is collecting. Okay, so we are we're getting some some resin, um, just from our tree farm. Like these are all designated for cutting, but our our log piles are full, so we're just gonna get some some pine resin out of this, and that's totally fine with me. Um, and then this is a small warehouse for the pine resin. So yeah, okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Um, and then what? So our power, we are supplying 450, we want 600. Oh dear, okay. So clearly we already need more power. Um, one thing I was wondering, one thing I'm wondering, so obviously these are both, they're both going, but one's going way better than the other, right? Because they kind of, they steal power from each other. I'm wondering if it's better to restrict the flow through here so that like these two tiles are the only tiles that the water can go through. Like put, put levees here and here. I 
think I'm going to try that. I'm curious how that how that works. Um, so this is currently going at like 45. It's like 100 something. Let's see if that changes. If I take a levy here, I'll build one here. And then of course I want to. I probably can't disassemble until until these are gone. Yeah, well that's fine. Whatever. I'll just disassemble all of these. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna levy. Levy. And then I'll put the power back on top. The, the axles. Right. That and like that. And we'll see what kind of an impact that has on our power output. I'm curious. I'm curious. Now it's night time again. Because of course. All relaxing in their Lido. Adorable. Uh, we probably have some more to do on the well-being front, of course, but I mean that's gonna be always, right? Oh, and three days to another another drought. Okay. There we go. And now we got 80, 100. 180, okay. So that does, that seemed better. I mean, yeah, okay. That's more power. That's more power. Got it. That's good to know. A uh, flooded building. Oh! I have, I have broke things. Okay. So that's why you don't do that. Got it. Can I... Hmm... I mean, that is how water works. It's just not usually how video game water works. Uh, so the solution to that is to allow the water through here a little bit better. Maybe I just get rid of this one? Let's see if that... will probably reduce the power a bit, right? But probably not... fully. Are we, are we still flooding? Hard to say. Hmm. Nothing to do in range. Okay. I'm probably... Is it going down? <laughs> Hard to say. I mean, I could build like a wall along here, but I shouldn't. I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to, right? Because it's all it's flooding all in here too. Is it? Is it going down? It's hard to say. And of course, now we're gonna get a drought. It's like staying. No, it's going down. Okay, it's just being slow about it. So I'm probably like about matching uh, the speed there. So what if I had like a? Um, I could put a dam, like dams in here, so it would let the excess through. Is that the, is that the way to do it? Put a dam there. And then, and then I'll even, let's try this again. I wanna, I wanna learn. This is the learning process. It is wasteful. <laughs> do that. So yeah, now we're now we're good on as far as like flooding goes. So well, that's good. This is all fine. Oh, and you're you're fine. We just chopped down all the trees. That's fine. Um, and we have water coming down from here now, right? Yeah, we're just fully diverting this source down to us, and we're we're getting a little bit of extra water in here, but that's nothing. Nothing to really complain about, I don't think. Yeah, okay. So then this is like... <laughs> it's right, it's riding right up on the banks, but I guess that's what we want, right? It's not flooding any tiles. I think that's fine, and we're still getting... 80 and 80? Hmm... I mean, they're even. 
That's uh, 180 total. It's still about the same as it was before. Interesting. Hmm. Well, and then we're still going to be low on our power. And of course, we're going to be very low on our power now that the drought's coming. Um, yeah, I don't know what's best there. What if, I mean, I can just get rid of that one. What if, like, that one is a, a levy? I tear all this stuff and build it back up so quickly, I might as well experiment with it, right? I got 80 something and 100 something. I mean, it's a bit more. And we're not flooding. Shouldn't be flooding. Mm. I don't know. Don't know what the best answer is. Um, I think we could get another water wheel down here. I'd want to do. How do we do that? I'm gonna want like a whole nother platform because I want to res I want to preserve this as a path, like a walkable path. So we would need another way for the axles to go. Um, and of course this. Now that we have a dam here, that's gonna keep this water up here and prevent it from flowing down here, which is kind of the opposite of what I want. Isn't it? I don't know. Oh, okay. What? What's the smart thing? We got. We're getting metal. We're getting paper. Like a freaking five-day drought. Very cool. And all our water is gonna stop flowing. And this river goes all the way up, don't it? I think I would kind of like to start building in this direction. Because this... Because this is just a natural lake. There's so many logs up here. I think it makes sense to build along the river. Um, but one thing I was thinking of... I think we want a deeper reservoir, right? Somewhere that can hold, like, drinking water. And I'm, I'm kind of looking at this valley. Of course, this is all a lot of very nice usable land in here. But we could flood like a chunk of it. Like what if we flooded like from here to like here, right? Just have just have a little lake here and it only need to be what two or three deep. Just come up like to the level of this. So I wouldn't want to go higher. I wouldn't want to go up on top of these these ledges, right? Even then, there's there's a whole height there that we could go. I guess it's the, the same, yeah. So I would I would want to go up like to this level. Hello. Now you can always use platforms to build atop your reservoir. That's true. But you can't you can't grow on platforms, right? I'm mostly thinking about like our, our naturally occurring uh arable land. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking I think I'm gonna make a little reservoir here and that's gonna be a longer term project, right? Because I'd have to build like all the way across here. That's gonna be that's gonna be a project. Uh, nope, you need dirt for growing things. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I should chop I should chop any trees that I plan on uh, making go away. Um, also, okay, so I don't know if you saw this. I was I was fiddling around with this. Um, I've, we're in a drought, so the water's not moving, obviously. But I was putting in some dams and levees and stuff in here to see if I could increase the water flow for these for these water wheels. Um, and I put in like I put in just three levees so that all the water was just going through the water wheels. 
which did make a whole bunch of power, but did also kind of flood back in here. So I'm wondering what the what the balance for that is. Like, you know, I have a levy and two dams. Um, but of course, that means that like now we're pumping out of this reservoir and, key, and water is staying back up here, which is not ideal. Um, you you can go away. Building lacks workers. Oh, that's fair. Do we need more people? Do we need more beavers? I think we're full on house. I got a full house. We got a couple. Okay, we got a couple. Waves happen, so it's possible that you were getting flooding from waves and it would have settled on its own eventually. That's fair. Okay. Do you have any rules of thumb for like a river of X width should not be constrained more than so much? Like this is one, two, three, four, five, and uh, you know, constraining it down to two seems like a lot. But maybe, maybe three would be fine. Maybe if one of these were a levy. I mean, now would be the time to do that. Now that it's a, now that it's a drought, right? What if I do like? Yeah. What if I just turn this one into a levy? I could do I could do these two as levees, and then this one is just a uh, a platform, so instead of a dam. Like that is that smart? Because then I'm not actually damming water back up here. We're fine on water. Okay, I don't know. I was worried for a second. I guess we probably just built one of these tanks. Uh, but these seem fine now. And we even have water over here now. Okay, cool. Alrighty, so that's not, not too bad. I don't have a specific rule for how much not to constrain a river. That's fair. I need to write me a book. All the levees later also slows down the water a lot. That's fair. But I mean, it's fair, I guess. But what would I do? Would I would I put dams? Like, would I let the water flow up here? Would that would that help? I was kind of planning on putting some more more water wheels down here. I need someone with a PhD in water wheels. Um, but in the in the more immediate sense, I do want to I want to get down in here. Uh, so if I do, maybe maybe like this. I should just chop down. I should just chop down all the trees, right? Um, let's do. I'm not going to demolish trees and then be out of trees later. That seems silly. Uh, so I want to put down some some flags. All right, that should be, should be fine. I'll do that. And then I'm going to mark all of these. i mark all these for cutting. Nope, it's not. I'm sure I'm gonna want to build. I'm gonna want to build in here, right? This is all my. It's gonna be all my industry stuff. So I'm gonna just gonna clear some space. Um, and I'll make some more some more piles. I do. I don't have any of these underground ones. Thousand science points. Oh my goodness. Maybe not right now. Let's do. 
as long as you have the forester unlocked and enough supplies to build one, you can always fix over harvesting trees. Yeah, but that's like, I can save myself labor later by, by stocking up now, right? Um, I will, we'll demolish just a couple of these. Because like they have to come and actually do the demolishing, right? Like to have at least as many dams as the river is naturally. Oh, that's fair. Okay, so five dams for a five wide river. That makes sense. Let's do this and then a path like this. And this will take blocks. And then, yeah, just, come on, start having babies. Okay, so they'll, they'll work on all that. Oh, then I need to put, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what these, this flow is going to be. I'll just, I'll just put the axe back. So if I call this a five wide river, then I can just, like if I replace them all the way down here, I mean, that doesn't seem too bad, right? Or would it be better to like have some down here and some up here? Cause I'm also like, this is also like joining two rivers now, right? We have this river coming down in here. And there's a river coming down. So maybe, I do another th another three up here. Would that make sense? I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's just do let's do two here. How about that? Of course, now we're gonna I'm gonna. This was a bad time to do that. Oh well. Uh, come with me. Uh, so we'll do two dams like that. I have breached the reservoir. Oh, well. Uh, what are these? Oaks and birch. Do oak or birch give anything? They give, I mean, wood, obviously. Um, you get, you get resin from pine. Maple syrup from from the oaks, right? Yeah, this was silly. Oh well. <laughs> Building needs water. Oh, yeah, that's fair. You'll get it. There we go. At least I didn't kill my spatter duck. We're like, we're good on water, right? We're, we're full on water. Um, okay, and we're, we're chopping logs. And of course they're gonna, ch they're gonna bring over all their excess logs from over here. How about we pause these? to just demolish the berries though. I don't give a heck about the berries. Uh, okay. Demolish the berries. Yeah. Nope. Oh, well, there goes the water. Uh, but we should have, like, the drought just ended, right? So we should have water coming in from here. Yeah, okay. But I won't... It's gonna kill all the spatter dock, of course, because they die... Oh! In 0 0.1 days, is it gonna survive? 0 0.7 days? Okay, cool. Oh! Hey, look! 
We <laughs> saved the spatter dock. <laughs> okay, cool. So now, now we're filling, right? Or is this gonna spin our water wheels backwards? But we're good, we're not out of water. That's all that really matters. Um, okay, so then other than other than making a reservoir down there, uh, what else are we working on? We have, we have building lax materials. Because you need more you need more spatter dock, but we have we have a whole bunch of grilled spatter dock and no raw spatter dock. Okay. That's fine. We also have we have these, right? Dandelions? Dandelions are for medicine. Days to grow. Dandelions. Yeah, I mean, shouldn't I just put in a thing to gather dandelions here? Uh, since they're literally right here. Um, I'll just do like that. Cool. And now our now our river's back. Now we're all good. Cool. At least this one's fine. So we have flow going this way, and this is such a weird intersection. Maybe this is just... There we go. This might just be too complex of a situation to be trying to get power out of. Oh, but see, look! There we go. Okay, 200 from that initial surge. Okay. This is looking fine, and we're not flooding. Okay. Okay. Those are the best numbers I've seen here. It's probably just gonna settle out. We'll we'll check it we'll check back in a little bit, but uh that seems that seems not bad. Um okay, so then I want half and flag. Gather flag like that. And you are just gonna prioritize dandelions. Because then a healer takes dandelion plus water plus logs. There's only 300 science. I think we can do that. Um, so I think we're gonna have maybe in the middle here somewhere because our 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 medical beds are over here. Um, so maybe a maybe a warehouse, a medium warehouse. house and then a healer just up on top here oh. keep trying to use my, my mouse thumb keys to try and rotate the camera they don't work don't know the smart way. Let's just do this. Uh, and then this will take dandelions. I presume goes in here. Uh, dandelions. What's this unconnected building? Oh, because of the path, of course. Path. And then I need a spot to put the the medicine itself, right? Um, I assume that also goes in a in a warehouse. Sunflower seeds, maple pastries. Oh, it's gonna be like... Cattail flower, no. 
I'll have to get to robots at some point. Oh no, it's a, it goes in a vat. That's right. That's right. In a, in a tank. Maybe like this. And then this takes... Medicine. There. Now we can make medicine. Especially since we have injured beavers. So I should probably move my... Uh, my hospital tents over here. So that's medical bed. All right, I could just put I could just put three in here. Why not? Even do four. How about that? And we'll remove them from over here. Yes. Except for the ones that are being used currently. We'll get over it. <laughs> okay. And you're you're still I mean, okay. Um let's just get rid of that flag so no one's standing there perpetually. Um this is all getting getting harvested. Oh come on, really? I will demolish the tiny one. Yeah. Yeah, look at all that. See, look, let's just... Those are just locks. It's just a bunch of locks. Uh, so we very quickly harvested all those dandelions. Can you grow dandelions? I guess I assume you can. And that... Did we use all the, wa the medicine already? Oh, I see. So they're just in here. It doesn't look like it. it's not consuming it while no one's in there, right? It's just... Okay. That seems fine. That seems fine. Now. Uh, we are also clearly going to want another path out here. And then another another flag because that'll that'll yeah that'll go as far as I need it to. And then I want to cut back out to here. I like this cliff, right? I want to use I think I want to use this cliff for batteries. Because we're not too far from our, our power situation anyway. So I don't want... So my, my reservoir is not going to come out past this cliff. Because that would make the cliff not as not as tall, right? So I think our wall is going to be like in here somewhere. And that's, that's aligned with our grid, right? It's probably going to be like... Probably like this. Yeah, I know it's not connected. It's fine, you'll get over it. Uh, and we're gonna we're just gonna straight up fill we're gonna fill it all the way up already. Let's do this. We're gonna use locks. We will find uses for locks. See now now this is not doing anything. Okay. So strange. I mean, not strange, but like. Not what I would expect. What if I. Let's do. Make this one the platform.
No, that's not what I need. Do like that. That's more even. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye on it, but that seems okay for the moment. Jeez. Harvesting metal up here, right? How's that going? We already got rid of there was a whole thing here. We've gotten rid of a whole holding thing. And we're we're working up for for being able to make treated wood. That's a thing I want to do. I think we probably also want more more housing at this point, which we can use all those logs for. We have some logs. Um, I want to try this. What's this double lodge look like? It's it's tall. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, and it comes so it's its entrance is up top. That's not what I was expecting. So that means it could go like here, right? And just be fine. I don't know, don't know that that's what I'm gonna do there. But it could go there. Oh, interesting. I like that. That's what takes what six, which is which is twice. So it's it's twice the volume, but also twice the the inhabitants. But it's twenty, but it's less than double the the logs. Okay, that's fair, I guess. And you would need you need less pathing to to service it. I guess that's the real save. So let's do like this. Uh, and then maybe uh, a stair here. So like that. Uh, we could even do Yes, then like that. I'm gonna stare like that. A raid? Oh, hello! Welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. We're playing with beavers. Uh, SU. Cool. I don't think I know you. Uh, what were you up to? Oh, you're blown up my screen. Uh, we're we're playing with beavers. And and yeah. Oh, they already just wow they populated that real quick. Do they do they prefer that over the other places? Hello, beaver love. Excellent. Um, are you a, are you a beaver expert? This is my third stream doing doing beavers. Uh, so rate rate my town. <laughs> um, still definitely figuring this out as I go. Uh, but we got our we got paper and, and middle going last stream. Um, I'm I'm working my way down here because I want to make myself a little a deep reservoir, not a little reservoir, a big reservoir. Uh, and we're we're getting there. Uh, but they're I mean they're happy. We're at 11, 12. I was playing hard mode iron teeth. Excellent expert. Not sure, but we are getting there. You're you're. You're further along than I am. Um, I managed to unlock the iron teeth on my first on my first go at it uh, while doing the tutorial and stuff. But I've been I've been advised to, to hold off until I know uh, the folk tales a little bit better. Look at look a whole tank of medicine. Oh my gosh, that didn't take long at all, did it? Okay, I'll take that. That's just a bunch of dandelion juice. Um. Okay, so that's that's medicine, and then wow, they just they they just they procreate very quickly, don't they? 
Uh, I was just building some more housing. Um, I don't need. I should do the the shadow thing. I don't. Uh, right? No. Oh, is 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 shout out? Is that not a, a default thing? I don't know how to do the thing. Uh, there we go. Hooray! Oh, and you you knocked my you knocked me out of here. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyone, anyone who wants to, so if you, if you follow, you can, you can customize a little dork, uh, a little dwarf. Um, I ripped all the, the dwarf fortress assets and made, made stream avatars. So you can go customize yourself down there if you really want to. Um, and look at all our trees. We have trees for days now. Uh, we're, we're working on pine resin. That went fast. Okay, so we should work on treated wood. That's what we should do, because uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have logs for a while. We have logs for a while. I'm hanging out, but I have to take a break, so I'll be lurking for a bit. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a very this is a very lurk friendly channel. Uh, there we go. So now, right? Are you gonna? Oh, I have to designate them as being chopped, which has been done. Okay. And then these are, they're not full. And where's our planks? So we have, we have a holding thing of planks, uh, but that's probably fine. We're not gonna over leverage our, our logs for, for more planks. Oh look, another, another drought. Yay. Um, I should go ahead and just, so if I'm going to dam all this up, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a path that goes all the way down here, first of all. Um, I guess I'll, I'll let them I'll let them work on that for a little bit. Um, but treated wood, that's a thing I should do. Because uh, we got we got paper and printing and we got a We got a tapper shack. So now I want to make a wood workshop. It takes planks and resin, and turns them into treated whatever 800 research my goodness and this is going to take a whole bunch of power yeah okay cool so this is going to go over here clearly uh and it's one of these long skinny deals i guess it could it could live right here right we'll get rid of our, our our helper friend here um i we're gonna need more power we're just we're just gonna need more power all across the board. Uh, so I'm gonna demolish that. Yes. And then just do like that, right? Because that'll save us on needing a whole bunch of axles and junk. Uh, so it's gonna take logs, planks, gears. We should be good on all those. They're all like right here, even. Books don't get made very fast, do they? Or at least we're using books as fast as we're making them. Um, and then... And then I had a little spot here that I was going to stack another... Another warehouse, so that might be our, our treated wood. Uh, except that that... Except treated wood doesn't go there. It goes in a pile. Because of course it does. Uh, but I can do... I can do like that. Oh, look at that. How about that? And then I just go like that. I like that. And then that's for treated wood. Cool. Okay. So that'll use it at least. And then I want... A warehouse for the resin. Maybe that's what goes there. That's what we do. Put a warehouse there, and this is for resin. Okay. 
And then this will be... I want, I want this one to obtain, right? Obtain. Probably don't need to have this one be supply. I was gonna say it accepts good. If it supplies, it's not gonna accept more inputs, right? Is that how that works? Okay, cool. Look at that. Kaduvam. Work on work on my stuff. So now we're like now we're way low on power, right? Now we want now we're like almost half of what we need. I mean, we have so much water flowing, and yet, like, look at this, why, you're just not doing anything. You're just not doing anything. If, if any viewers who understand the water stuff know that I'm, I'm definitely still wrapping my head around the water physics, so I'm, I'm playing around with things, and ma I'm making mistakes. M mistakes are how I learn, so don't, don't worry. But I want, I mean, what I want, want, right is to um i want to make a reservoir and then i want to leverage that as as power right because i'm gonna have you know maybe two two layers of levy and then a layer of mostly levy but then some dam looks like the right water wheel doesn't have enough flow of water to turn it i mean yeah clearly <laughs> um I've been messing around with, like, we have two levees here in a platform. I've been messing with different combinations. Because if I just, if I, if I have all these B platforms, then, then this one spins a bunch and this one barely spins any. So maybe, maybe this needs to be a platform too? Because it's like... Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's some sort of ideal setup and I, I am determined to find it. The water just takes the path of least resistance, yeah. But like, it should it should take multiple paths, right? Um, I mean, it's at least if it's like water, water. Like it wouldn't say, well, this tile is the least resistant one, so it avoids all the others. It's gonna it's gonna kinda split itself dependent on the resistance of each of each path. I mean, at least like this, then our our un unflowable tile is the middle, right? I could even put put this out towards the outside. So then it's symmetrical. Is there a benefit to that? I could even bring this one in. Maybe that's what we do. I'm gonna like I'm gonna be wasteful and and <laughs> just play around with things because um, I want to get a feel for it. So don't don't worry about it. But I am I'm slowly figuring it out. What if I do like that and then a platform? Because then it's symmetrical. I don't know if there's any benefit to it being symmetrical, but I like it better. Um, okay, so then I think we can start working down here. I think I'm going to do... Like here... Right, we'll say we'll say here. These are just gonna be they're all gonna be levies, right? This would be kind of to to mark where I'm going. I'm gonna do like this. Does that make sense? And then we'll we'll turn this into a little reservoir for ourselves. Solution is more dams. Always more dams. Okay. 
I can more damn. Um, but then, but then I need to, I need to do a path like that. And I'm just gonna go up to like up to up to this level, I think. heck knows who knows i mean the the real answer is that we need to like come way the heck up here and put more more power like in in very different spots right having the main thing i'm learning is having two water wheels next to each other is just nuts right uh we can we can disassemble these I'm good with all of these logs being harvested and you'll just you'll just work on it. Okay. Um and then what else? So now we're we're making we're making treated wood in theory. Just very slowly. Looks like we're Okay, and that's So like paper we're full on paper, right? So we we're not producing paper. Is this still consuming power? It's being input with 46, but I don't know that it's using it. Everything's getting everything's getting 50%. Maybe it is maybe it is consuming all the it's consuming its power even though it's not using it. That's interesting. I think I need to put another water wheel like way the heck up here. That's my, that's my guess. Hey look, some treated planks. So then hopefully we'll have a little stockpile of treated planks by the time we need to build an actual metal, metal thing. Cause we're doing, we're doing fine for now. Um, and I wanna build Batteries, but there's no point in building batteries if we're at a power deficit the whole time, right? We're, we're not, we would never charge a battery currently. So. Yeah, I'm gonna say, let's build another water wheel up here. It's gonna be hard to judge flow now that now that we're in a drought, of course. But should it just go in the middle? Maybe I just put it in the middle. One right in the middle. It's axle to come in like this. Right? Is that? I mean, we'll try it. We'll try it. I do. Start with just paddle like that, and then or, or platforms, and then axle, or even uh, like that. Or, no. Like that. And then if I put another one, like, in here, is that too many? Or, like, is... How long? How far down river until until water wheels don't affect each other? I could do like like I could plug in here, right? I could put in I can put in a water wheel. Oh, you can you you can just charge from the backs. I was assuming the sides. I assume the sides were 
what you had to do. Uh, but if that's the case, then it can just go anywhere. Right? I mean, that's... Middle-ish. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, I have a hunch that like going along a river is better than like going across a river, right? Because if I had like just five water wheels g crossing this whole width, then like none of them would do anything, right? That's what's that's what's counterintuitive to me. It's not like it's like the, it's less than the sum of its parts. Uh, okay. Oh, well, this has gotten built. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and you're all gonna... I guess that's fair. Uh, so I want to get rid of that. And then ultimately... Now this is gonna be like this. How do I just get rid of the path? I build on top. I... Nope. Like... Yeah. have them cross the river since the wheels do have resistance. So cross as opposed to like along. Hmm. Because every time I put like two water wheels next to each other like that, they just they just wrap you from each other. I mean, so food is fine, water is fine. Uh, we're, we got so much resin. We got a bunch of metal. Got a bunch of metal blocks. We got a bunch of medicine. Okay. Some things are working and our drought's about to end. My main curiosity is I guess how like water pressure works with height. Like if I put in a, like if I have a, if I have a reservoir here, do I want the water coming out over the top and then it would flow down into here and then I could capture power downstream over here? Or do I have water like squeeze out the bottom? Is that how that works? How would that work? Would that work? It probably wouldn't work. It'd probably just all flow out there and never accumulate, right? So like this one's <laughs> doing nothing. 
Got it. Oh, because we, we haven't actually got our power. We haven't got our water up here yet. I should capture some of this water. Like, I should be getting... I should put some water wheels, like, on completely different rivers, right? There we go. Now we're gonna flood. Cool. And they're beavers, so they're just gonna keep going. Oh my gosh. Dwarves will be freaking out right now. Is there, is there a max depth that they can walk around in? If I tell them to go in here, is that still fine? We're getting far from our, our district center, obviously. Like this, that seems fine. Okay. Oh, here they go. <laughs> Getting... Okay. Getting some waves. It's too far from a district and cannot be reached by builders. Oh. Just build a... build a crossing. So this is getting a hundred, and these are getting a hundred and fifty between them. So that, I mean, that, that seems fine, right? We have 60 beavers. Oh my goodness. Do we need more? I have I have food and water. And they're all They're all full. Okay. Time for more beavers. Um So then I'll just do a layer like this since they just get their, their doors from there. And then, and then what? We can, we can build more up here. We can build on top of here. Uh, I could put platforms here, or I wouldn't even, I guess I would. So I'd have to put, I put platforms here and then another row on top here. How big are these? What are these? What, 250? Yeah, why not? Oh, it's... interesting. Is it still only too high? So those would go, like, here. That's pretty cool, though. Or even... Uh, 
Not okay. okay. There's a lot of ways I could put them in here. Okay. I could just do... What about this? A one and two. And then I just need two... Two platforms. And then land. Right? Or no. It's one high up. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, but that just means... That just means... Sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of housing, isn't it? It's another 18. Plus another 12. That's pretty cool. I do like how I have to, like, they have this nice little patio situation. I'm just going to have them facing right into the mountain <laughs> instead of out into the valley. Oh, well, they'll deal with it. They have some windows. Okay, so then you're still can't get all required materials. We've used our logs. We've used our logs. Will you see? We used the logs. And look at all that. We have a nice little start of a reservoir. I'm working on it. One thing is the beavers don't have a max they can reach down, so you can just build a tall dam from the top. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we just... Oh, man. We just straight up used all the logs. Okay. But we'll, we'll get some more. We're growing some more. Should I have another tree farm? We could farm more up here. I might hold off on that, though. Uh, okay, so then what else? We have another 600 science. I haven't been doing decorations, basically, at all. We don't have any monuments. Uh, we could do a temple. Parasols and mud baths do both take power, so I'm gonna hold off on those. Uh, we have our we have our Lido's, singular. We have our showers. Spatter dock, that's fair. But there, we're gonna get another harvest. Okay. Could probably be making more of those, but that's for I'm using the footprint that our that our farmhouse has. We could do... By exploring the stars, beaver gain more knowledge about the world they live in. Only beavers can work in this workplace. Observatories take power. But that's a lot of research, right? Ten every three quarters of an hour. Refinery, oh my goodness. Carrots and water. Potatoes and water. Spatterdock and water. 
syrup and sunflower seeds. Interesting. Bot parts, okay. Bot assembler. We'll get there. Um, the mine takes 4,000 research. Oh my god. I think... I mean, windmills... I like... I like the idea of windmills. I know that like we're we're beavers and obviously we're we're using the river, but windmills are a little less finicky, aren't they? They're just less consistent. That's what that's what the batteries are for. 1400 for a large windmill. So clearly we're going to want more science. I can't even get the observatory yet. My goodness. They'll work on it. Uh, but I think that means we're saving science for for an observatory. Terrain block. Artificial block of terrain built by terraforming station workers. Huh. Okay. We need a bunch more locks. Are people... Is anyone just standing around? We do have people without jobs. Oh, so then we should chop more trees. Do that. Every time it, every time it hangs just a second, I have a minor heart attack. Uh, so we're just gonna, gonna cut all those. And then you're just gonna have access to all that. Okay. And then we cut down up here too. Or... Some wimpy little trees up here. Planks. I have planks. Let's do that, and then I'll just put a flag there. There. More logs, please. Yeah, look at that. So now it's just it's flooding over, so I want to make another... I want to do one more level, I think. Mostly as a... why not? I mean... It going to take a bunch of logs, which is what I'm short on at the moment. Hey, look, a bunch of birds. Yeah, look at all that. So the mostly, mostly what I'm doing here is I wanted a a reservoir that's specific for pumping water from, right? So I'm gonna move I'm gonna move these pumps over here somewhere, and you know these say maximum depth two. 
That just means it's not gonna reach the bottom from there, right? Not that it's just not gonna work. Um, you could go over. We go up one more, and then this level will be fine for, for putting stuff on. I'll have to get fancy with some, some platforms in here to make that work, because I don't have dynamite yet, right? I'd easily get one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And we could do the same on the other side if we really wanted to. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this. I'll leave those in case I want to come back down in there for some reason someday. Uh, then can I do... I'm gonna want I'm gonna want some water to be able to come out, right? Can I I need to get rid of the, the path, of course. Right? Can I do that right? Okay, good. I'm probably gonna like destroy something I don't want to that way, but it's better than doing all that clicking. So if I have a way for water to get out over on this side, let's say... I don't know, one, two, three. Then Can they just... they can just do that. Okay. Or do I... I don't know. Do, does the depth of a river is, affect its speed for the water wheels at all? Like, would it be better to build water wheels over here as opposed to over here? If we're, you know, two to three layers deep of the water? The water is going to flow into here either way, right? So I'm gonna, we'll put our our dams like in the middle here. Do, let's do like three. I'm just gonna anticipate everything being a mistake. That's a, I mean, that's a dam. I don't, it doesn't gotta be more than that, right? And then, and then build something else in, like some sort of levee in here to, to put some water wheels on. I don't know if that's smart or worth it. I'm gonna get the dam going first, at least though. Cause then if I can take, if I can get these water pumps out of here, then I can use the rest of this land for growing stuff. That's kind of one of my that's one of my priorities here. So that's got 80. That's got 90. I've got okay. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. fluctuates so much too it's hard to get a real good read on on what's going on but see we're still not supplying enough
Can I put like... I think I know the answer. Can I put like up here? Yeah, well, I'll just put stuff up here. Uh, cause then like... Cause I'd have to get fancy with the power connection. Are you out of stuff to do? That's fine. Then go away. And you're good too. Yay, a drought! What does dynamite actually take? Paper. Hmm, okay. Of course, that also takes power. Holy cow, these beavers are power hungry. stare for the dam. Do I? Oh, because they can reach that, but not that. Okay, that's fair. So I'll just do that. Yeah. Or even... Can't quite get up to the top there, but... I can get close. Do like... Now it's also a crossing. We have 23 babies. Oh my god. They're starting to grow up though. Okay, so then if I'm doing... I want more wind power. Not that it's, it's doing nothing right now. If I did... That, that, that. And then I would need to do this. Be around that one. And then you would do like this, and then like that, and then like. I'm gonna put a four way in there because. Why not? Uh, and then, like, I can it, it can go in the back there. Let's do like that, and then like that. Yeah. And then this goes like that. And then the windmill can go. I mean, I can do like a like. Something like this, right? And then I'll do one of those. And then one of those. And then one of those. Then another one of these. Like that. How about that? 
It looks cool at least. That's 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 points for something, right? We got a whole. Well, we used to have a lot big pile of planks. Or yeah, we got we got planks. We have planks. Um, and we have another 200 logs. I mean, clearly we we chopped down this whole dang forest. Holy cow! Uh, but then we're filling up again, even. Okay, and they're working on it. So is it, does a, does a dynamite like blow up one square exactly? Do you get real precise with the dynamite? Or is it like Minecraft dynamite where you like, you toss it and pray? That's another, I mean, it's, it's 400 for the factory and then you have to research the dynamite itself for another 600. Holy cow. Destroys the block of terrain underneath it and triggers adjacent dynamites. Okay. But each individual one only costs three paper, which really isn't that bad once you get them going. Because paper is just one log makes two paper. So. Yeah. So three logs makes two dynamite. That's not too bad. Yeah, look, we got water here and everything. And we have some power going during our during our drought. Not a lot, but you know, more than nothing. And we're gonna do batteries over here. So wind, like more windmills and stuff in here, cause like this isn't getting, we're not growing anything over here. But of course we could like pump a little bit of water here. If I pumped a little bit of water from here to here, then like this area would turn green, right? We could grow something in there. There we go. Now we got four windmills. Cool. So when they're going, getting 160. Okay. Um, our water's doing fine. Oh, we are going through our food. We need more food for all these babies, don't we? Um, how about taters? I've been holding off on taters. We should definitely go some taters. We could do... We need another... Another spot. Maybe here. Is this going to be taters? Because there's berries, but like we already have so many berries. There's berries over here. I don't really care to preserve the berries, right? Oh, and this is even... Oh, I see. It's preferring dandelions, but when it can't, it's doing the, the berries anyway. Well, that's cool. I want 
I guess let's fill, let's finish our reservoir and I want to see what land ends up green by the end of it. It'd be cool if we could use all this. I don't think we're going to get quite high enough to, to hydrate this land though. I think, I mean, maybe this will be fine. But I think we're going to, we're going to do some taters in here. Cause we're, cause we're cooking everything we have, right? We're, we're not like backlogged on, on raw spatter dock or anything. We're just, we're just eating it all. Okay. And at some point we're going to do cattails in here, but that's a longer production chain. And I, I think we need some food like now-ish. Is there a maximum depth on, on like spider dock and cattail? Can that go like way at the bottom of a reservoir? Does that, does that say anywhere? Uh, crops. There's a little, there's a little eye button, but how do I, how do I hover over it? Because they're, I mean, it'll let me plant it wherever. Hmm. Hey, look, we're almost done with our reservoir and the, the drought's going to end any day now. Um, I have a thousand research. Should I just do a, uh, an observatory? It takes 80 planks, 30 gears, and 10... and 10 resin, and 200 horsepower. My goodness. See, that's the, that's the thing, right? It's, if it's, it's gonna be... it's gonna slow down when we're low on power. Whereas these are just being constant. So I want to have an excess of power in order to make that be worth it. But like, when does that happen? That's not gonna, we're not gonna get an excess of power anytime soon. We got a whole bunch of pine resin. We got a whole bunch of, of resin logs. Is this... Oh, no one can get here. Duh. Okay. That one's a little crucial. Uh, can I... <laughs> How about... All of the things that generate power for the folktales also generate power at night. Hmm, okay. So then if I'm... So we charge batteries during the night? Is that what you're saying? Not that I can think that that does anything. Hold on. Hold on! Uh, oh, but I can do... I can go... Here... Like this... And... Do... <laughs> this is stupid. Whatever. It's all gonna get torn down. Can they? It still. It still says it can't. Okay. That's stupid. I could have planned. I could have planned that better. Just for the sake of getting to the things to build the things. Of water. Oh no, we're gonna lose all our spatter dock. Uh, yep. And there it goes. But here comes here comes our water, right? Any second now. Any second now. Okay. Goodness. Well, our our dam is complete, as at least as my initial intention for it goes. 
Um, and then batteries take 400. Take, I mean, they're, they're a bunch of gears. Oh my gosh, how many gears do we have? We have 170 gears. Holy cow. Okay, well, there's, there's that at least. Okay, I'm mostly just trying to think of what our order of operations is. Um... So most immediately, I think Taters is, is next. Uh, so I'm going to do... Basically, I'm going to fill this whole thing with Taters. So I want... I'm going to do the two efficient farmhouses. Yeah, there we go. So this is this is all gonna be fine. And then I want to plant a bunch of taters. And I need to get rid of all of <laughs> I need to get rid of all those. Goodbye, berries. I have to get rid of all those stumps too. Whatever. Clear it all out. It's time for taters. It's tater time. You can't. I'm just. See, it's still flowing, still flowing over the holding thing. Hmm. Is that just because I don't have enough openings? See, it's like even flooding back into here. Right, because this is, yeah, this is where I want to build. But from here, I can just like, Yeah. See, it's still flowing over here. I don't know that I care that much, but I want to I want to be able to control it, right? I guess this was a pretty wide river to start with. Now it's all going where I want it to. So then if I make those dams instead of levees, it should act the same way, right? There. So now I still have all these banks down here to do stuff with, but I have a nice deep reservoir here. Right? Is that, uh... Is that good? So then you are going to plant taters, you are going to harvest taters. I 
Uh, what are you all? Oh, you're all hungry. Everyone's hungry. Everyone's starving. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're planting taters. Nobody die. We have some old age deaths, but I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone dying. Dying. Um. Oh, and you're you're still needing. So we're gonna need a different grill for the grilled taters, right? Um, I think maybe utilizing some of this space since I can't grow stuff on it. We are also getting a little far from our district center at this point, I think. Alrighty, so then I want I want a warehouse for raw taters and a warehouse for cooked taters and then a grill. that. And then I'm going to grill up top. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna do I want to ref I want to reflect. <laughs> I don't want to rotate. I want to flip it. I could do like that. Let's do like that. Let's do that. Real. And then like that. Now this is for potatoes, and this is for real potatoes. Okay, um, a bunch of people are dying. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Wow, they, they all go at once, don't they? Uh-oh. Uh, quick, gather, yeah, gather carrots, please. We still have another six days until our taters are ready. And then we gotta grill them. We have we have 12 days for more spatter dock. Boy. I guess that's the benefit of carrots, right? Is they have a high high turnover. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I I made too many babies. Say that all the food places are high priority. Uh, 
Oh, recipe. Yeah, screw all the taters. Hold in, hang in there. Hang in there. Beaver's injured. In addition to being starving. Um, I mean, we're gathering some berries. Of course, I just tur I just tore out all those berries. <laughs> Next berries are way the heck up there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Well, this is this is working at least. I mean, that's a that's a river. And there we go. Taters. Are they harvestable? It's, there's you're saying that they have another six days. Oh, but 100%. Huh. Okay, well, we're grilling taters. Oh, we're, we're losing beavers by the dozen at a time, though. My god. They, uh... They don't have a whole lot of resiliency, do they? been three, ga three days, guys. Yes, please go harvest the taters. Metal platform. Oh, that's cool. I could have built out over here. Oh, well. But look, I mean, that's a reservoir, right? I think that looks good. Got a little, got a spillway. Yeah. And we got some good flow in here too, so I, yeah, I'll probably want to take some power from here. Demand is zero. Oh, no available workers. <laughs> you, you really don't need a whole lot of power when everyone's dead. Oh dear. Um, I mean, I can. So now that we have this, um, I mean, maybe I just. Do I just make more spatter dock? Do I put in another aquatic farmhouse and fill all this with spatter dock? I think. I think that's a thing I'm gonna do. I could put another aquatic farmhouse like this. Alright, and then if I had a stairwell just, you know, here. And then, and then this whole section in here I can I can do. Yeah. And then I also want I'm also gonna do I want to I want to do the my I want to put it on top of a, a warehouse again. Uh, so let's do let's do a warehouse. Oh, except that. Okay. Um I mean I can ditch this. This can go this can go basically anywhere. Let's just move that. So, warehouse, and then this will be a stair up. Not that that necessarily helps, um, or but I can do I could do like this, right? that. So that's... I'm gonna go ahead and, and research the, the double <laughs> platform. That, and then that, and then that, that, that. There. 
So now, now I can spatter dock all up in here. Right? It's like, it's gonna be all weird because those, because these aren't made yet. Is that what's going on? Oh, but I, I didn't do my stairwell down. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. I don't want to go like that. Now, now, that's still, it loses quite a bit of footprint when I put it up in the air like that, doesn't it? Is that what I want? I mean, we can just spatter dock all of this. I was hoping to use all of this area, though. Maybe I will... I'll give up on my, my stacking trick. If that's... If that's what happens. Oh, come on. Rid of these, yes, 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 and then we'll do farmhouse like, right? Because that that just covers more. That's just more area. It means we just need a different spot for the warehouses and stuff. Can I put platforms over? I can. Okay. Okay. And I can do like that. I thought that's because I'm going to want to put my stair on this side. Oh, it's like, it's kind of like Tetris. Like that, and then I can do a warehouse like this. So then we could do raw spatter dock there, and then this grill seems to be doing fine. Like this grill is handling all of this farm, so maybe we don't need another grill. So these, these are unnecessary. Okay. We'll call that good. Now we can go up on here if we really wanted to. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing grilled taters. We're down to 36. We've lost like half our population. Holy cow. Uh, let's do... You're gonna be... You're gonna be important. Uh, but you're gonna do... You're gonna do spatter dock. And a plant. Land spatter dock. It's gonna be like this whole holding section, right? Yeah. food. Oh, we're still just, we're just screwed. <laughs> Grill them taters. Get them while they're hot. Yeah, now we're, now we're making way more power than we need. So now's when I need batteries. Now that we're 
now that we have a severe labor shortage. Okay, well, they're, they're planting more Spatterdock. Because these take, right, they take 12 days. Take twice as long as a tater. Oh, you, you take. Spatterdock. Oh, and you need a... Hey, look, another drought. I think we're fine, though. I mean, we got a bunch of logs, we got a bunch of planks, so I can... I want to move our water stuff over here, but I want to give them a chance to make food. of water? We're out of water. Is that because people aren't pumping? No, these are high priority. Uh-oh. Of course, they're just gonna keep making babies. Oh boy. So then, I'm wanting to make water pumps over here, right? I'm gonna need a bunch of platforms to do so, obviously. I could do one, two, three, four. Not any real issue, but I could also do like I could also do, I could do like platforms over here and just go like across. That'd be a lot more. Also a lot more platforms. Let's do like this. I can't. Interesting. That's what I'm doing? Um, one... One tile. Okay. Well, but of course, okay, hold on. I'll just do, I'll just do three. Cause I have to go over on this one too. Which means we're gonna need more all told. Not do that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of this and this and the, the platform under there. Yeah, you you will stay. 
that I want. And one just right down there. Come on. That don't need to be there. And that's it, right? So there's there's three pumps who have access to a very deep reservoir for the entirety of a drought, right? There's no way we're gonna pump all of that water out. Right. And look, now we're now we have a million of food. Oh my god. Okay. So now now I'll go have babies. <laughs> now now repopulate, please. Like I already want more more pumps than this. Um I should also put like a a storage. Do like that. Uh, and then still have a bunch of planks. We're, we're getting through our planks, that's for sure. Of course, I picked a, a spot for a reservoir that's nice and got all these steep, <laughs> steep walls to it. What I can do... That would get us two more. Like that. I'm just gonna pause these for a moment. happening we have we have a whole bunch of we have 600 food now my god in the middle of a drought we caught up on food in the middle of the drought so i'm doing something right right i'm gonna tell myself that <laughs> like we we ran out of food which was a problem uh but we caught up on food in the middle of a drought so we're not doing everything wrong Uh, you take water. Thank you. And our dam is keeping all of this nice and hydrated, right? Like this doesn't stay, this doesn't stay green year round otherwise. So, given that the windmills can charge batteries at night, I do I do like that. It's gonna take a thousand for an observatory. It's gonna take four hundred for a gravity battery. I and mean, I can't just do both of those right now. I'm gonna start with the battery. Let's do let's do battery battery and then this is gonna be like oh I see it's like two two by one so I'm, and I'm gonna want dynamite to kind of clean up this cliff face at some point right um, but like right this moment I think we can just go for it. Does that not? 
Give me a lot of stairs. I assume, so the weight itself is a two by one? Is that what's going on? I assumed it was just gonna be like a single, a single tile. Um, so I'm gonna do one here and... And then it needs to be connected to power, right? But it doesn't need a, it doesn't need a path per se. It just needs stairs up there. Okay, time to climb a little mountain. Like that, and then you know, I can do like this. Let's just go, let's go here. Uh -huh. I did it. <laughs> could that have been done better? We could have gone up here and then there. Yeah, I guess that could be, that would be better. Except that doesn't work either. Wow. This. Okay, that's not that's not too bad. that work we're gonna need we're we're out of plank or we're out of logs and planks oh my god okay got it well that's so gonna go up and then around and then up and then up and then up and then up and up okay so they'll get over here eventually um, and then I'm gonna put in another battery like this that maybe they can I don't know, does that like this and then we're gonna have to get power up there somehow Let's let's build them first and then I'll figure that out, but if they get built then I can undo some of those paths. <laughs> that's that's quite the thing, ain't it? Um alright, so then we're we're good on food. Oh, but you're not doing water. Why is this not no workers available? Oh god. Oh, come on, y'all. Pump the water. The water's important. And I bet, like, these still have people? No, they're just turned off. Okay, good. I mean, let's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn them back on so we... Because... 
Now they're all gonna die of dehydration instead. Uh, but at least here comes our water again. Goodness. Goodness, goodness. pump. Can y'all pump, please? Now it's night time. Y'all gonna go to bed and die of dehydration in your sleep? Uh, yeah, their flag, you're, you're fine. You're low priority. Uh, that's... I guess we are gonna want... We do want logs and stuff. Just gonna have to wait to repopulate essentially. Look at that water flow, holy cow. And look at all that spatter duck. I'm going good now. We have, all, we have literally a full warehouse of grilled spatter duck. It's not that you can't get required materials, or we're out of logs. We're out of logs. Of course. At least the babies grow up quick. Yeah, okay, so this one's big, it like technically doesn't reach the bottom, right? But it still, it still works. Are these working? I want you to see you do the thing. There we go. Okay. Okay. So I can build, I could just build water pumps all along here and be fine. And that won't, that won't put any of my crops at risk. There we go. We're getting some water. Okay. Okay, so I am going to take these out. I guess showers, showers probably also consume water a little bit too, but I, I can't imagine it's that much. I could put them like over here or something. Well, this dries out. They would have to be over here or on 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 the dam. I think they're fine. We're gonna we're gonna say that they're fine. Don't get used that often. Um, and then how's our how's our power? We are. We're still short on power, but we're also short on workers, so kind of whatever. Also, you want to make sure that these happen. Which means we need to do planks, which means lumber mills are now somewhat high priority. Paper, paper and books can go a little lower. And so can, so can smelter. Not not zero priority, but not highest priority either. Okay, well, I'd say crisis averted, but I think that does count as a crisis. <laughs> I don't think we fully averted a crisis there. Okay, you're working on it. 
See now, yeah, okay, so no one's no one's making anything, so this isn't consuming power. Is that that's what, how I'm reading that? We're making we're making planks. We're making planks. Climb the hill! We're we're definitely on the edge of our district here. Which is, you know, fair enough. We're, we're pretty far. And that is a pretty... That's about as direct a route as we can get. So if we build... Like, this river... This river does not... This will not stay flowing year round, right? So we, I wouldn't want to grow anything down here. We could definitely have people down here. We could definitely harvest wood. We could definitely harvest metal. We could theoretically grow stuff like way up here. Like around here, like this is this is prime growing spot right here. That would be pretty good. So maybe a Maybe another district comes down here someday. District center down here. And we could grow stuff. And harvest stuff down here. That wouldn't be bad, right? And then and then there's all of this, right? Obviously we wouldn't be growing stuff in here, though we could like we could flood stuff. We would just want to harvest all this metal first, because that's a that's a ton of metal. That's like the biggest metal thing here, aside from the renewable ones. Well, this could turn into a lake. Uh, but that would mean we'd put another... Another town center somewhere. I mean, we could put a district center in the middle and just build everything on top of the water, right? That's the thing that people have been saying. You can just build on top of, top of the water. So maybe that turns into Lake Town someday. And there's that. So this would flow around this way. Oh, I mean, it, hmm. We'd have to get creative. We wouldn't do it just by default. That goes off the map in like five different ways. We turned that into a lake use it during extra life using aqueducts. Excellent. Okay. Very, very cool. Aqueducts like, so you probably routed water from like over here and just went across or something? Because I was assuming you do, because there's like, um, there's these pumpy things, right? Mechanical water pump. And, and a dump. There's also irrigation towers, and you remember that. Okay, they're, they're making their way up. There's quite the quite the staircase. I used levees because the mechanical pumps didn't exist then. That's fair. Oh, are they like really new? That wasn't that long ago. Okay. How many gears do we have? We have, so we have enough gears to just make this and enough metal blocks for that matter. That's good. It's going to take a bunch of planks, but the gears and the blocks are the hard part. We will get the we will make the planks. I'm not too worried about the planks. They're not super new at this point, that's fair. Oh, you don't mean like this most previous extra life. You mean like a previous year? One 
thing that I'm happy about. Now we're, man, we're, they are repopulating. It was a few years ago. Gotcha. I'm, so in Dwarf Fortress, I'm going to be, so Dwarf Fortress is my measuring stick, right? And it's always going to be. In Dwarf Fortress, when you have stuff that requires power and you have like a system of windmills that's producing 100 power and you have a bunch of millstones that are requiring 101 power, nothing happens, right? Nothing, you get zero progress on your milling. But here, we have not been, like we've been demanding more than we've been supplying for power from the first moment that we've been using power, right? Like I've never, I've never been meeting the power demand in any of this, but we're still making things. Things are just happening, they're just happening slower than they would if we provided all the power. Now what are you oh my God, I'm... starving? Go eat then, you have food. That's just because they're on a long trip, right? Very plausibly. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it's telling us, right? Like, of course, now it's... But yeah, like, this is going at, you know, some percentage... It's receiving some percentage of its of its power, and it has some percentage of its productivity. Yeah. It's not just on or off. Which I definitely appreciate. Okay. So this is about to get built. It's just waiting on some planks. Really curious to see. I'm also gonna want uh, dynamite pretty soon because I wanna I wanna make these as as useful as they can be. If they can go all the way down, then that's like. That's a really tall cliff if I can go all the way down to the ground here. There's nothing else here that would come even close. Like even this stuff, like half the height. You'd have to get, you have to do some real serious terraforming to match the height of those, those cliffs there. One plank. One plank. Okay, another another drought coming, but that's fine. We're we're not full on water, but we are pumping water. Maybe I go ahead and because we're geez, we're already back up to almost a hundred. Holy cow! Um, let's do. Oh, now we need the next height of of these things. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And it's gonna take, it's gonna take a bunch of planks, which I'm using as fast as I can make, but that's fine. Let's do another, do another th three. No, that's not what I want. I just really want to make sure I don't want it out of water. Because everyone will die. Okay. Cool. So that's 14,000 horsepower hours. Here's what you can do when you invent your own laws of physics. <laughs> um, but okay, so now, now I just need to hook that up to my network, right? It just it just plugs in any any side, any side. Okay. So and once I have these built, I don't need to come back up here. I could have built this on a platform, couldn't I? I could have made them taller by just putting them on platforms. That's a good that's a good thought too. Uh, but okay, so that means Is there This is just essentially a stair for power. It's not I can't go like vertical way 
way steep, right? But I could do... I could do this. And then that. Right? I kind of wish... Uh, now that now that it's all now that it's all there, I'm not gonna fix it. But I kind of wish I put it up one. I just I wish I put it on platforms, like a one high platform, just to make these even. It probably make it easier to connect. Oh well. Um, should this maybe this one? Can I do? I do this, and then just like this. Or no, that's... that's not close enough. But I can do... a three and then a one. And then a three. And then a two. Or even... yeah. That won't be too bad. Still waiting on planks for this stupid thing. And I guess I am waiting on planks for this. What happens to these materials when I... When I tell it to stop? I'm clear they don't need... They don't need these, right? Yeah, so it does... It turns into rubble. Of course, now I want to put a juncture there. Or can I can I just chain them together? Can I have one input into the other? Not that. Oi. Oh, of course, I want to get rid of that so I can put in a juncture. Connecty bits have to touch. Yeah. So then... Oh, because that's a path. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Do they... Okay. And then, like that. Yes, <laughs> I guess. Now we're, our water is holding up. Some people are dehydrated, but it's just because they have to walk really far to get to the tanks, right? You can say this one obtains, obtains, and obtains. Small tanks near workplaces, that's fair, that's fair. Might have gone overboard on these giant ones. Maybe let's get rid of one of these big ones here. I mean, if we're getting, we're getting all of our water centrally, right? So then I should have a bunch of big ones here and then distributed small ones. I'll give back some planks too. I'll leave this big one because all the all the people live here. 
uh, and then we'll do storage and then small tanks and then we'll just sprinkle these in Seems better, right? Someone do the thing. A thousand food. Look at that. We have a thousand food now. We're, we're creeping back up to a hundred people and we have a thousand food. The power of taters, I tell ya. So I'm gonna do my thing. No? No one wants to, <laughs> no one wants a water tank over here. Fine, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna set this to, this is obtain, oh, get, and water, obtain water. Water. Obtain water. And they're working on it. Uh, you will obtain water. You are already set to obtain. done the thing. Yeah, look, they're already filling up. Alrighty. And then these are all... They're, they're working on it. Are, okay. This is too far. Ugh, of course. Should have just. Can they? They can walk through all this, can't they? And then they're gonna not. how the the axles turn even though there's there's literally no there's no power going anywhere here okay clearly we need some better paths well you're okay so they're working on this one that one was fine that one's fine So maybe these are fine. This one might be a problem. Uh, but it's these. Oi, 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 oi. 
Get away. Help at all? Can they can they make that corner? I mean, they could even they could even put a path here, right? Does that help? Ow. There, figure that out. Figure it out, please. There we go. Look at all that. That's some water. Yeah. We're pumping like mad. We're distributing. Um, You're da, da, da. Stranded, starving, dehydrated. Did you... How are the beavers? Uh, they're fine right now. We did have a... We had a couple deaths today. How are you... Stranded? Well, uh, I did just kind of cram this in here, didn't I? Um, we did run out of food and lost like a bunch all at once, but we've we've bounced back. We're back up to we're back up to oh, 90 something. We're we have a bunch of people dying of old age right now, but. Um, here, I'm gonna get rid of this. Does that, does that help you? No, you just die. Um, that was weird. Cause, cause these can't, I need like, maybe this needs to be elsewhere. Cause this can cover the holding thing. Let's get rid of this. Yeah. And then we're like, cause we're full on the resin. Yeah. Uh. Uh. That is what I need to do, though. I need to... Or let's say, let's say this empties. Not that we're... <laughs> not that we're... Using it very quickly. Uh, that's this, right? Because we have a whole... Almost a whole thing of treated planks. And then there's the pine resin. Hello again, sorry I raided and ran. How are you doing? Don't, uh, first of all, don't apologize. I totally appreciate the raid. Um, things are going good. You missed a, you missed a couple deaths. <laughs> we, we ran out of food for a moment, um, but we're but we're doing good. Um, I have I have taters going. I have spatter dot going. Uh, do, you know, two to three times more than we had before. Uh, we finished our dam. I have all of my water being pumped out of this reservoir now. So I'm like, and this was like, this was honestly my goal for the day. We are, we have a, a reservoir for pumping water and we have uh, places that will stay submerged through a drought and they're two separate places. Look, we're even overflowing our, our, our dam here. That's interesting. That wasn't happening before. Maybe that's temporary. Um, oh, but now they're, now they're flooded. The water pumps are flooded. And now they're fine. I'll ignore that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we got a nice, got gravity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we're working on now. This is my absolute mess of gears and stuff. Um, I'm working on on connecting it back down into our our actual power stuff down there. Uh, but like this, this looks like it worked. I think. I think they're going to be able to build this, right? Yeah. Perfect. Um, I'll even reclaim some of this. 
course, they're not going to like... Yeah, they can't get too... Can't get to some of these logs. That's fine. It's literally, it's literally one log. It's fine. Uh, water physics can be weird. If you have less outlets than water sources, the water will surge and overtop things. Less outlets than sources. Okay. Because I am merging these two rivers, right? I mean, it seems to have stabilized now. It seems like when it comes back after a, after a drought, it kind of comes back in a wave. Um, but I, but we, we're merging two rivers, right? We have. We have a source up here that we're that we're diverting down, and then we have the big helix. So it is there is quite a bit of flow coming through here, but um, I'm okay with it flooding temporarily after a drought, um, especially if we have all our water right. We have we have a good bit of water, um, and now we're we're distributing to small tanks throughout the place. Yep, there you go. Everyone's going for it. Um, yeah, I want that to empty. Um, and yeah, that's that's the main thing I'm working on right now is I want them to connect our uh, I want them to connect our power. No, this isn't the button. That's not the button. Okay, I want to get rid of that one. And that one. reach those power connectors. Yeah, I was just going to reevaluate what was going on here. Um, I think I probably need to rearrange some of these stairs. Or how about like this? How about, how about, I just do like that. Yeah, I mean, that'll help with that one at least. And then... I mean, they seem to... I mean, infinitely down, but only one level up. Interesting. Interesting, okay. Can they, but they can also go like diagonal, right? Can someone stand here and build this one? Yes, they can. I answered my own question. <laughs> Cannot build next to a stair for some reason. Next to it, you can't build next to a stair, huh? Oh, they're. They were working on it. Trust me, when it happens, you will understand. That's fair. Um, can I, can I do like that? Oh, but they can go, they can go one down, right? So if I do that, does that work? Or do they have to be like literally above? Which I can't do here. Oh, well, we'll see when they wake up. Maybe they can figure it out. But I mean, they've, they've been supplying it with supplies. Should be fine. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing past this. I'm probably going to be like tearing down, tearing this down. I want to make sure that this gets done first. Look at all our food. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that we had everyone die of starvation like <laughs> two or three cycles ago. Go. Okay. Let's get rid of these. Yes. These can go. And then. I mean, if I do one, if I do like a, a 90 degree angle. Or even just straight for one, and then go down here, and then down, and 
down, and then down. And then down and then down. Yeah, how about that? So, here, and then corner. Down, 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 down. And then we're on the ground. Actually, I kind of want to go... Out. <laughs> I didn't plan past this. I was like, I need to get to the ground, right? Uh, but I want to connect over here somewhere. So I think I want to go, like, back around to this way, even. So maybe... Maybe I immediately change my mind. Now, hold on. Hold on, guys! So overzealous. He's made fast work of those platforms. Hold the count. I think... I think I'll just go straight down this way. My goodness, I'm just gonna try this all out. I do still wanna, I mean, I do, I'm gonna get, I wanna do some dynamiting in here. So I think I want, I mean, do I wanna preserve all of, all of this? Maybe this can be cleaned up though. I can do, that. That'll, and then I won't have to redo the stairs. Um, so I can go like here, and then 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 here. That's better. It's a little gnarly, <laughs> but it'll work. Um, and then we're going to need a path along here so that they can actually build all this stuff. Which is fair enough. Um, but I think I'm just going to go... I mean, I could just go like across and then down like this. Like, it's a lot of axles, but that doesn't... but that's fine, right? Like in Door Fortress, you lose power for every... all the distance that you travel. Like, every axle consumes power. Nothing to do in range. Oh, that's fair. Um, or I'll just... I'll just straight up pause these. That's fine. Oh, that's what it's... okay. 116. I understand. That's how that's distance from the place. Uh, okay, so then we're just gonna do axles, and then gonna go back up, and then we'll go up here again, and something like that, right? Yeah. No, they don't strictly need a path for all that, but it's gonna help. I think I want a path around there anyway. Hey, look, a drought. Yeah, there we go. So, that gets us a lot closer. So, we're gonna do. And a down. And then maybe... I 
towards all of this, so I I can. Oh, oh. Uh, a lot of these platforms were for um, for building these mechanisms. Can I... Yeah, that is just the path. But then maybe we connect like through here. The game has creaky sounds? I know, right? I keep making all these power things. Uh, don't do that platform. Don't do this one, right? That can go away. You go away. You go away. You go away. You go away. Oh, I destroyed the rubble. <laughs> Whatever. And then the stair goes away. And then. What did I. What did I do to make all the things yellow? I, did, I feel like that didn't happen before. Maybe it did. Maybe I'm imagining things. Uh, let's do like that. Or maybe that's how... And maybe... Oh, we'll just come like straight out this way. So I can't build platforms over these, but I can build over... over like these things. So I'm gonna do like... Like that, and like that, and then, and then like that, and then I can just do that. And, loop. and then this just becomes a three, okay? Blam! That will connect all of our power stuff to our batteries. It's like an aqueduct for power. It's a it's a paqueduct. Yeah, look at that. Now. Shockweduct? <laughs> Shockaduct. <laughs> uh, there's probably things in here they can't get to, right? I think we need to get back up onto this roof. Now that I've <laughs> now that I tore all that down. Shockweduct was better. <laughs> I, I like Shockweduct, but it's like Shockweduct would be like if it were actual like electricity, right? But this is like mechanical power. This is this is a Mechweduct. I don't know how I'm, how am I gonna get them to make to make these? These aren't gonna work. Well, these, I mean, these were all, I mean, these are all empty, right? How about I, these are, these were for our, these were our logs for, yeah, that's fine. Crankweduct? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a a crankweduct, yeah, a crankweduct. <laughs> I like that, that works. Um, I'm gonna make a bunch of temporary platforms. So creaky, holy cow. Okay. I might even put those piles back, but 
We can build a stairwell up to the platform and build each piece at a time. That's fair. But I want it all done now. <laughs> I'm probably being wasteful with uh, with logs and stuff, because I know we don't get 100% back every time you demolish. Is there... Oh, now I destroyed our only plank? Oh, because this one's logs. I will... I will return it... Oh, it's like one... Looks like that's a stairwell there. But I could do... I could do that. That's not too bad. Just do like... That. Um, so that's logs. This will be planks. I'll even say this one should obtain, right? Because this is where we're using. They should obtain their, their logs from over here. Probably gonna need to plant more trees. Oh, that's right. Is this empty? This is empty, okay. So I wanted to do this. And then... I mostly just wanna get, I need a path out here. I don't, I don't like having a little dead end here. Uh, but then I can make another uh, harvesting flag. Right, I'll do. Do another pair. Then like that. There we go. And then that little warehouse can go back here. And this is for the sap. There, okay. So now we can now we can harvest more. Look at that. Look at that. It's all connected. Look at them. Look at them slowly descend. <laughs> Okay, so then in theory, right? Now we're not using any power. Of course, the wind isn't blowing either. But if the wind blows... Then that can charge the batteries? Is that... that was my understanding. No, they're still just going down. We're gonna we're gonna go through those batteries real quick. But look, everything's at a hundred percent of their of their demand. Um, we mostly just need more more windmills, I think. Um, okay, and then I kind of want to get rid of a bunch of these. I can reuse this space for for stuff. I'm probably gonna leave it for the moment. Uh, Cause we have our we have our planks there. Of course, that's I could make that closer. How about? I'm also interested in, in this, but a thousand. It's a thousand. My goodness. Yeah. Let's put the planks here. Planks. And say this. Uh, this will empty. They're very quick about that, that's cool. Okay. 
Yeah, they're already gonna, <laughs> we're all gonna use them all. Um, but I'm gonna put more windmills out here, right? That was kind of the plan. Uh, Cause I don't know what else all this land is gonna get used for. Hi, creature. You need like a, oh, hi. You're just gonna be in the way. <laughs> okay, fine. Um. Of course, it's being too far. Like, they need... Yeah, why not? Uh, so I'll get rid of that one. And that one. And that one. And then I'll wait for them to build those, and then we'll just put in little T-junctures. I'm gonna make a wind farm, that's what's going on here. Look at those things go! I jumped the gun. Okay, well, I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with our progress here today. There's some more to be done here. There's some more to be... I mean, there's more to be done everywhere, but... Um, that's a good start, I think. Oh, there you go. That's another, that's another 300 power at, at the moment. There they go. We're still, <laughs> We're still at a deficiency for, for power, but I mean, that's a lot closer. We're at 700 without using any water wheels because we're in a drought. Preacher, that's my microphone. Okay, but I'm, I'm satisfied here. We, we're in the middle of a drought and we have as much water as we need. Yummy microphone, I know, right? Yummy, expensive microphone. But look, I mean, I have a reservoir. We're pumping water from our reservoir in the middle of a drought. We have, we have aquatic plants surviving the, surviving the drought and it's separate from our water source. Probably, pumping quite a bit of water out of here, right? There's like a, is there a depth gauge? I saw that like there's a f like a flow speed gauge. Depth and flow. Uh, 150, yeah, that's fine. Is this just... Oh, but they have to be able to make it. <laughs> uh, I didn't preserve a way to get down there, did I? Oh well, uh, we'll figure that out. But like this, this works, right? This works. Oh, and they're going up. They're going up. What is, I don't see these producing, nothing's producing power. Is 
it just for a moment? That was strange. That was strange, though, right? So now they're going down again. I want to see them charge at night. That's like the point. IMO. Or that's one of the points. Because we're, because during the day we're never at a, we're never at a surplus for power. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a nice little wind farm out here. Um, so hopefully we will have a surplus of power sometimes. And then that'll, that'll make the batteries do stuff. Because as, as it is, these are just gonna drain. They're just draining slowly is all. Um, but then I'm gonna I'm gonna blast out some of these these bits so that, that they can go all the way down. Um, that'll be nice. And then and then yeah, and then yeah. Here's more here's power. But still, we're still we're still just draining. Okay. Well. Well, more power. There will be more power for sure. I wish I could, I wish I could angle my, my camera. It's just the rotate, isn't it? Um, but yeah, um, I am gonna, I'm gonna stop here for the day, but I'm pretty happy with our progress, despite the fact that we killed a bunch of beavers today, but they already re, they already repopulated, almost like they're rodents or something. Um, and, doop, doop, doop. and yeah, um, oh look, we did, so we did pump all that, we did pump all the way down to there, but there's still, no, that's all of it, isn't it? We did pump out all the water? I find that surprising. Is that what happened? Aside from evaporation or whatever. Um, but we are at the end of the drought, so. Yeah, here the water the water's coming back. Yeah. And we have and we have water in tanks, so maybe it's just more a matter of making sure we have enough tanks to make us to get us through the droughts. Plop another one of those down. Anyway, um, I could sit here and be distracted by more things to do forever. Yeah, there they go. Bye-bye. Yep, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, here, I'm just gonna... Let's... Let's save. Save. And and yeah, um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, that I like. I'm enjoying this. I'm having fun. I'm still learning, still wrapping my mind around how the water works. Um, but we'll we'll get there. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. My thing works. Today's episode was brought to you by Waterfalls. The things that are natural and artificial that we love, no matter what form they come in. Uh, but also by you. Uh, clicking all those buttons down there. Uh, liking, following, joining the Discord, raiding. That's like, that's really cool. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, yeah, and I will be back on Saturday. We're going to play more Dyson Sphere program. And then I'll be back on Monday and we're going to work on our mask. We're going to work on a crafting stream on Monday. Um, and then on th and then next Thursday, we're going to do more beavers, more beavers. Um, I kind of have three things going on right now. So I'm doing like one each one once a week, which hasn't happened before. Usually I obsess about something for a bit, uh, but but now I'm kind of everywhere. That's also fine. Keeping me keeping my brain focused on things during the dark season, I think, is <laughs> the main benefit of it, because um, otherwise I will go freaking nuts. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's me. That's today. Um, and I, I hope to see you all around. Uh, I hope to see you all lurking, lurking down there, uh, making some little dorks. And yeah, I'll see you around and don't forget to stay kind. <laughs>